Welcome to my shop. Um, the ones who are following me on Facebook have, have already seen a couple of pictures of this week's project. And I have to apologize that I hadn't had a, a project on last week. Uh, but I didn't feel that well and uh, couldn't actually uh, go into the shop longer than for, well, about two hours a day. And uh, this had been quite, uh, well, I, I, feel, I feel sorry about you. Um, so what you're looking at here is a fold-down bedside table made out of, well, basically scrap wood. It's all reclaimed wood. And I've got uh, a tabletop with eight different wood species. Um, three legs, two of them are from uh, beach and one is out of the Maranti. My first idea was to make a tripod table, but as I'm not that good, like this guy over here in leveling uh, three uh, four-legged pieces, uh, well, uh, I thought about this tripod, but I had to add this bar as a design change on the fly. Well, this one here, over here, as a design change on the fly. Because uh, when you put weight on, on one side here and you've only got the three legs, the, the table starts uh, tilting and, uh, well, obviously falling over after a couple of times. So follow me along how I assemble this uh, piece and uh, I'll explain a couple of features of this while I assemble it. And uh, I'm glad you're here and if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you don't like it, leave a thumbs down, but please leave a comment. This is what I'm always looking for, the comments, as this is the first time I made something like this and I'm really curious about uh, what uh, I could do better or what uh, what have I done right or wrong. Okay, so thank you very much that you are with me and uh, I'm glad you're here and uh, follow me along how I make it. tabletop I went through my stock and found well some interesting woods which is from this part on these first three are leftovers from the door uh, so this is dark red Maranti the these and I don't know what the secondary wood is but it looks pretty similar only kind of like like set wood or well I don't know it looks quite similar to the to the dark red Maranti of the outside next is an unknown wood at first I thought it would be beach but for beach as this over here is beach it got it hasn't got these uh, dark dots in there like the beach has You'll probably see that uh, this one here, the next one is walnut, this one is oak, sapelli, and this is also one of these, well, unknown woods, walnut again, beech, and sapelli on the end. So this is the, the tabletop, and I started by, well, um, ripping down the pieces to a quite similar thickness and trimmed off the, the side edges for a nice uh, straight edge. After that I went over to, the, to my uh, thickness planer, sent all this through the thickness, uh, thickness planer to have a real nice um, even 
stock and uh, with the jointer function I jointed the uh, glue lines. Then it's just a normal glue up and I had been pretty scared on this glue up as I didn't know how it works out and I'm always a little scared on glue ups. So the final shape had been done and I sanded it uh, smooth on both sides. So then I went over onto the back side of this piece and I made these two uh, well stretches or whatever you want to call it. They are not only for well keeping the board flat but they uh, act as uh, the mounting for my for my hardware and uh, when it comes to the hardware it goes this way there are two threaded inserts on each on either side and uh, there goes a nut a uh, bolt in, the, in into into this threaded insert this way I'm able to really tighten this up here and I'll get a, an extreme stable connection. On this um, pipe, steel pipe here, actually the, the leg is, well, pivoting. The steel tubing here is a little longer than the, well, just a fraction longer than the actual wood or the hole in the wood were for the legs. So this is so much for the, for the tabletop and the, and my way of, well, getting a hinge, some kind of hinge to it. Now let's go over to the, to the legs. Okay, these are the three legs I made. And as you might see, the, uh, it should be like a tripod. As I made all three legs the same shape. I turned them on the lathe and one of the most challenging part of it was to create a sharp corner here and over here as well on the top for this uh, well pivoting and mounting thingy here for the actual uh, mechanism so it, it, it ends up like the X shape. As I first dry fitted it, uh, I came to the conclusion that when you get, um, well, a wider table than the actual footprint of this uh, tripod thingy, it, it's, it's bad as you can't actually put uh, a lot of, well, can't actually put no weight to the, to the side which is supported by the one leg as the table starts tilting. So I decided to make a crossbar here and I turned this on a lathe as well and uh, fitted it to the, well, to, the, to the center leg which had been already turned. So now I just go ahead and mount these legs so you see uh, how this, all of this works. Well, mounting the legs is dead easy. As I got this cross pieces here, and they've got a threaded insert here, which makes the actual axis for the, uh, for the center leg. Uh, I just go ahead and put a washer on each side, this one goes 
goes on there. Got my my tube, which is as well a little longer than the than the hole here inside. Put it on, and these washers had to, uh, well. The first idea for the washers was to actually prevent the the tube from going into the wood. But as the threaded insert is bigger than the tube, they wouldn't be necessary at all. But uh, I started on doing this, so I had to finish. So next thing is to put the, the center leg onto the pivot point and get the second washer for the... and thread the second outer leg we'll just screw it onto the okay so in this way you end up with a pretty sturdy piece which is able to pivot on the center part okay so this could be called done, but there is uh, another thing. When you got these two outer legs pivoting on the on this on these points here, uh, the problem is that you have to have something for the center leg to rest on while it it opens. Otherwise, it would open endlessly. And this is not the thing you want to have. Okay, for that, I thought about uh, my my um, trivets I made, and I got the this rope, and I just thread this rope through this center hole here and this rope will actually be connected and glued into here into the into the outer legs by doing so this limits the opening well it's not glued yet but it limits the opening of the of the X and in this way you have a st pretty stable X-shaped base. So for mounting the tabletop it's that easy. Take the washer, insert it into the small recess I made for it and get the, the bolt with the a tube inserted Just trying to find the starting point here and go ahead and tighten this
actually the threaded insert is, has to be a little off the table to leave enough room for pivoting.
day. So with that said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week with another project. I hope uh, this won't be a big one like this, but uh, with greetings from good old Germany, it's your Peter Freitag. Thank God it's Friday.